I'm in China and many of the workshops that they give here on TRE, they use watches which register their heart rate variability. But many people don't understand what heart rate variability is. So I'm gonna explain it briefly here so that you understand it and how it can work to give us accurate readings on what is happening to the heart rate variability when somebody does TRE. First, let me explain the difference between heart rate versus heart rate variability. When we measure heart rate, we're measuring how many beats per minute or BPM, and we're getting a large picture of how the heart is doing. So you're looking at something like 70 beats per minute. However, when we measure heart rate variability, we're seeing how well the autonomic nervous system is functioning. And heart rate variability is about the variation in time between each heartbeat. So it's this variation that we're looking at. Now, th this heart rate shows an unhealthy heart rate variability because it has constant one second intervals between the beats. So this means it's a low heart rate variability, it's a fight or flight state, and it would have poor recovery. This heart rate shows a healthy heart rate variability because it has variations between the beats. And this means they have high heart rate variability. It's a relaxed state and increased recovery possibility. When we're measuring heart rate variability, it is the variation in time between each heartbeat, not the speed of the heartbeat, but how evenly or unevenly spaced your heartbeats are. A healthy heart doesn't beat like a metronome. Its flexibility adjusts based on your needs. So higher heart rate variability means your nervous system is more balanced adaptable and calm and can smoothly shift between stress and rest modes. If your heart rate variability goes up after TRE, that's a sign your body released tension and is now more relaxed and regulated, even if your heart rate stayed the same or dropped. While we are resting, we want our resting heart rate or our beats per minute to be lower but we want our heart rate variability to be higher, which means there is greater variation between the heartbeats. So that in summary is the difference between the heart rate and the heart rate variability. So we're looking for heart rates to go down, but heart rate variability to go up.